Welcome to the video tutorial series for Quant Studio Design and Analysis 2. For this tutorial we will be using the desktop version of the software, but you can also use the application on the Connect platform. In this video, we'll show you how to edit plate setup information. Plate setup information includes samples, targets or SNPSAs, well assignments, bio groups, reagents, and the passive reference. In the plate setup tab, there are several ways to edit plate setup information, including Import a plate setup file, or assay information Manually define samples and assays, then assign to wells Directly add samples and assays to a well Copy-paste well information in the plate layout Or copy-paste well information from a plate layout spreadsheet To import plate setup information, click Actions in the plate layout there are several options for importing plate setup information. You can import a previously exported plate setup file. Use order information to find, then import tagman assay, plate, and card files. Or, import an assay information file that is provided by Thermo Fisher Scientific. To manually define samples, click the plus icon in the samples table. Click in the field to edit the sample name. Then select the sample type from the drop down list. To manually define assays, select target or SNP to display the appropriate table. To add an assay, click the plus icon. To edit the reporter or quencher, select an option from the drop down list. To assign samples and assays to wells, select the plate layout view or the table view. In the plate layout view, Click to select a well, or click drag, to select multiple wells. Select a sample, and target, or targets, to assign to the selected wells. To directly add a sample to a well, click in the sample field. Then enter a sample name. Select an existing sample, or enter a unique sample name. The new sample is added to the sample table. To directly add an assay to a well, click to the assay field. Select an existing assay, or enter new assay information. The new assay is added to the assay table. To copy-paste well information, select a well, or wells. Then press Ctrl-C, or Command-C, to copy. Select the destination well, or wells. Then press Ctrl-V or Command-V to paste. To copy assay information and serialize sample names, Select a well. Click the blue square in the corner of the well. Then drag over the destination wells. Each well is populated with a target, and a new, sequential sample name. The new samples are also added to the sample table. To copy-paste well information from a plate layout spreadsheet, open the file. Select the information to copy. Then press Ctrl-C, or Command-C. Go back to the plate layout. Select the destination wells, then press Ctrl-V or Command-V to paste. The new sample and assay information is added to the tables. In the Plate Setup tab, you can also edit Biogroup information, Reagent information, and the Passive Reference selection. When you are done entering the Plate Setup information, click Run Summary. In the Run Summary tab, review the Run method and the Plate Setup information. If all of the run information is correct, save the plate file. After the plate file is saved, you can add it to My Plates for future use. In the desktop software, you have the option to send the plate file to the run queue of a connected instrument. This option is not available in the Connect application. When you are ready, load the plate file on the instrument, then start the run. This concludes the Edit the Plate Setup tutorial. For more information about using the software, including analyzing a data file and exporting results, see the other videos in the series.